Hello and welcome to my channel. Right, in this video, as you can see, I'm stumbling down to get to the actual dive site. Um, and this area is actually known as Loch Long in the Arica. Now, during the Second World War, this area was used heavily by the Royal Navy, uh, particularly the Test and Torpedo Range, which is further up the loch. I'll see some photos at the end of it of how it stands now. But this range, testing range, fired up to 12,565 torpedoes. Roughly average of between 45 to 65 torpedoes per day. Unfortunately, got decommissioned in 1980, and then eventually there was a fire, um, and it was decided to actually demolish the uh, actual site itself. Now, we've got roughly know where the torpedoes are um, from further information, so the plan is to try and actually find these to uh, torpedoes. Don't know what sort of state they are, don't know actually know how many we actually find. So, we're just going to set our kit. Uh, do our safety brief, briefs and the normal stuff and in the water right straight away you can notice um, the visibility is not that great it looks actually like a night dive here we're not that deep whatsoever this is roughly about 15 meters now above us it's very dark now straight away we come across initially I thought it was just something else like a bit of scrap metal but then I noticed that at the very end they had actually a propeller. So this is us locating our very first uh, torpedo. It's average length, roughly about maybe three meters. As you probably just heard, it was me getting a bit excited because I actually found one. As you can see, you're like at the back there's twin propellers. Uh, the rear end's a bit broken up over time. Um, I've as you know, they, they, these have been down here for quite a long time. Now here, the, the ground is very soft and very silty. Anything you just hit will just just totally silt up. I said, so we didn't know where we were going exactly, but then again, we, within in like two minutes, we found another one. Here's another, obviously another torpedo. It's not in a bad position, condition as well. Um, it was like it's connected together. This one's a lot longer compared to the other one. This one's roughly probably about I mean, it maybe six meters again the back end of it is broken away couldn't actually locate the propeller so these are torpedoes are always sort of located um, sort of initially together again nowhere near the testing range Right, next is another torpedo. So this is torpedo number three. Now you see this is actually sort of either, I don't know, the end of the, the front end of the torpedo or the back end, I think it's actually the, the front end. Somehow it's it's lodged itself in this position, half upright. Again, it's you can definitely make the shape out. This is a torpedo, especially the, the shape of the end. And you can see there's some type of fish that's decided to make its home here. And the next one, this is torpedo number four. And this wasn't far from the other torpedo you've just seen. Uh, this one actually looks like it's broken off because this, again, this was quite a, a small one. You can see the, the uh, propeller and um, and the other end, there's looks like something's missing on them. That's like so-called the warhead's gone missing or the bit that will actually will float. It's sort of broken away. A starfish, a couple of starfish, and I think a crab has made it its home as well. So on this site, I think due to the um the seabed being really sand, um it wasn't much kelp or any seaweed, just your bit of marine life like this fish here, and seeing enemies seeing the background, um your typical starfish yeah, and your shellfish and crabs, and there's a few other fish as well. And a couple of pipe fishes we saw as well and place again looking around searching and we came across this this is a, a single propeller from one of the obviously one of the torpedoes now we again we because of the visibility okay it's nice and looks nice and clear here because it's my uh, video lights but just um, at times it's absolutely pure pitch black 
and with the other lights you could um, need to they just pop out the object so then you can actually see something and actually swim to it for example this this is looks like a some sort of battery pack must have fell out or one of the torpedoes and then again we come across another one now I believe during the time um, the Royal Navy um, made torpedoes of Mark 11 to up to Mark 28 now after the war the uh, torpedoes got more sophisticated and need to go deeper and longer and and I think this is one of the reasons why this um, facility got um, decommissioned now this particular torpedo this is a pretty long one and just embedded into the sand so it could have been a lot longer than this I estimated it probably maybe roughly over I don't know maybe over 10 meters because it definitely went on and here we've got another one this was quite close to the other one it's like the outer shower is peel, peeling off and to me it, I don't know it looked like white paint and knife I'll make that out for yourself uh, you can see it's a very short one it's probably broken off it could just be a simple small torpedo now as I was looking at this one um, my dive buddy spotted this other torpedo which you'll see shortly and there you go you can see there actually that's the end of the warhead or the flotation bit of the head as I said swing around and note to this this torpedo is upright again this was a pretty long one how it ended up in this position God knows was it an experimental torpedo airdrop torpedo don't know I can't fully understand how this has ended up this way maybe it done its range and fell and just went straight down to the bottom and just got lodged and you can see a lot of crustaceans on this and then enemies and sea squirts Right, so that was our last torpedo we found. Uh, due to our low air, we started to head back. Um, navigating back was fun because um, the uh, visibility sort of changed dramatically, which you will see in a minute. Um, I've got a new uh, dive computer, the um, Apple Ultra 2. And to be honest, it's great. Yes, I know you have to pay the subscription, but it's actually great. Now you see on my watch, this is six meters. And uh, look at the visibility, it's actually pitch black. And this was us literally at three meters doing our safety stop. Now this is the testing range today, literally roughly about, about a mile up from where we were. This is where they will low, lower the torpedoes and fire them off up the range of the lock. Um, and here is like the train, train racks where the uh, we load the torpedoes for launching. This site is really used now. There's a pier. A lot of people come down here and do fishing and catch various types of fish. As I said here, this is where the women used to fire up their torpedoes down the lock and we'll pick them up later. Right, that's us. We found them. Uh, there's quite a lot of them uh, down there. Different types of, in some different types of states, some quite worn away, some in relative good condition. So, yeah, we found them. Really happy with that. Uh, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting. And don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next video.